Are you ready to share your story with the world but not sure how to get it into the hands of eager readers? Hello fellow authors, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Monique, an indie publisher and author of over 100 books, here to guide you through the self-publishing world and help you become a published author. Today we're unlocking the door to digital publishing on one of the largest platforms on the planet. Google Play Books. Let's turn those manuscript pages into digital success. Your first step is to create a Google Play Books publisher account. Navigate to the Google Play Books Partner Center and sign up. It's straightforward and free. You'll need a Google account to get started and from there you can access your publishing dashboard. So here I hit on author instead of publisher, but you will still need a publisher name once you begin. Put down the country, the website, and the phone number. So now you can decide on your email preference and terms. As it states here, regardless of your selection, you will receive important product updates that may impact your account. There is also the terms of service, which as I always say, be sure you read and save a copy to your computer. Next, let's go ahead and agree. And you are now welcome to Google Play Books. First, create a payment profile. Give your profile a name. If the location is wrong or the account type is wrong, this is where you would change it. You can add the address, the primary contact. This account, I can't go any further because the bank account and tax information is on my real account. So we say that uh, I've already done it and we're going to go ahead and add the first book. Now, Google Play Books accepts PDF and EPUB formats, but for the best reader experience, EPUB is the way to go. Make sure your manuscript is professionally formatted, edited, and if possible, DRM free. This will ensure a smooth upload process and a great reading experience for your audience. Your sale option, sell ebook on Google Play, and you can use an ISBN or an EAN. I have an ISBN. From there, I will add in the title. You can also add in a subtitle, but this book does not have a subtitle. Next is the description. You can see the ISPN is the book identifier, language English, and the page count. Now as always, I try to have everything on hand. Now, the page count for this is 164. And I'm releasing this on January 24th. It'll already be available as a pre-order. Now put in the age, I always start at 18 as the minimum age. And that's about it for here. And let's click and go on. Now we're at the genre. The BISAX always takes me a long time, which is why I get them ahead of time and I can quickly put them in. Save and continue. The contributor, of course, that would be me, but this is under my pen name, Series. This book is not in a series. Now for the settings, I leave everything as is, but I did forget 
to change the DRM. So of course, I'm gonna have to go back and fix that. Now for the files, which I should have mentioned before, I format my books through Vellum. And Vellum actually, when it formats it, it formats for just Google, generic, uh, Kobo, Nook, Apple, and uh, KDP, as well as the print, which is why I can make one file and every file will have every version of what each distributor needs. These files were generated just for Google and it's exactly what it needs, so I will have no issues with this. And you can see it says it's processing, so you're good and can continue. Are you enjoying the walkthrough? If you are, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support the series and keeps you informed as we explore more platforms. Next is the price. I'll start at my basic price. When I upload a book that's going to be on pre-order, I usually have three prices. One is the regular price, one is the pre-order price, and one is the launch week price. Well, five days, but I put those in and Google will sit and change it for me automatically. So I don't have to do that because that's like one less thing I need to do. This is the regular price. This is the pre-order price and I will set the dates for it. And this is the launch week price. I will set that date also. Review and publish. Now you'll see that it says need action. That's because Google is still reviewing the file. So give it a couple of hours and it will be okay. Congratulations. You're now a published author on Google Play Books, but the journey doesn't end here. Engaging with your readers, marketing your book and analyzing your sales data are key steps to success in the digital world. So don't think all you need to do is publish and wait for the royalties. You still have work to do. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below with any questions or what you would like to see in the next set of videos. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. See you in the next video where we'll be tackling uploading to Kobo. It really helps support the series and keeps you, thank you.